Impromptu tunes, impromptu tunes, impromptu tunes, impromptu. Do you hear the people improvise? improvising? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Impromptu Tunes, the completely improvised musical podcast. Please give it up for your MC. G'day ladies and gentlemen, I am Emmett Nichols and I'm your host for this special edition of the Impromptu Tunes podcast where we have the one, the only, Holly James in the room with yes, us. Yes, it is a special day. Thank you so much for having me, Emmett. <laughs> but it is particularly special because we have a special guest. Uh, you might have heard of him. He spits rhymes like nobody's business. I'm a big fan and he's in our studio. It's very surreal. The amazing <laughs> Rob Broderick, a.k.a. a bando man. Hello, Welcome. everybody. <laughs> As a big fan of him. Prom tunes, <laughs> having listened to your podcast on a, a tiny island called Hamilton Island, where basically nobody lives, you became my friends for that <laughs> week, and thus I am now in the podcast I was listening to. Very excited. <laughs> so we're default friends. I love yeah. that. That's and if anyone else wants to be our friends, friends, yes, please go to Hamilton Island. Yeah. And we'll meet you there. It's actually yeah part of the tourist scheme, like right? <laughs> for us to get friends. We are also joined by the wonderful David Peak on keys. Hi. David Peake is our only musician who greets us orally. <laughs> that didn't come out how I meant. Um, so, Rob, you're in Melbourne. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoying yes. that? Yes, I am. Uh, yeah, having a lovely time. Doing my shows every night. I'm here for six more days. By the time this podcast comes out, <laughs> I will no longer be in your city. So there's no way for you to financially see me. Uh, but you can see me on other things. Yeah. Um, online, I'm assuming. Yeah, online. So, yeah, if no one's seen the show, it's a freestyle hip-hop comedy show. It's a lot of fun. It's, it's amazing. amazing. Oh, oh, oh. oh, but not as amazing as how in sync we... Okay, that didn't work. Um, so yeah, it is a fantastic show, so I recommend getting amongst it next time he's in Melbourne, which, due to popular demand, will probably be sooner than tomorrow. But for now, we're going to be improvising a completely made-up musical on the spot, as usual, based on your suggestions. Now, we got some suggestions from some fans, and they came in really thick and fast today, which was awesome. And we have spotted a love story by Ashley Rigg. So thanks for that, Ashley. Spotted a love story. Rob, are you ready? Yes. <laughs> a slight hesitation there, Holly. Are you ready? I'm also ready. Oh, wow. <laughs> Equal hesitation. We're so in sync. <laughs> All right. Ladies and gentlemen, impromptu tunes and a bando man pairing up for the first and hopefully not last time. We'll see how it goes. Like a, it's like a special episode of like one of those Marvel comics. Like, yeah. We didn't think um, they'd be in the same universe. <laughs> Look at them. A mashup, if you will. Um, spotted. A love story. Take it away, David. Yo, here I am, I'm all alone Don't want to spend my life all on my own Sometimes when you're standing on the dance floor all alone You can feel like you are the only one Yeah, yeah you know how it is, we're born to mingle But see that we're born one, born so single You see right now, you know that I'm a hooligan But truly glum, cause right now in my room Only room for one, yeah Man, you know that I'm bloody vexed Single person, lying in double beds That's right, man, you know that you got it Sometimes love is an often spot it Just wanna be seen, wanna be seen For the first time Please see me just want to be seen, just want to be seen For the first time Someone see me I'm looking for someone Who can open up my heart Looking for someone with you I can make a new start I'm looking for someone I hope they get here on the double I want to be just one of a two-person couple Sometimes, man, I feel cold, I'm on part I'm the only person still writing the newspaper's lonely hearts Yeah, man, they saying who gives a damn tender fam Or even just live life as a single man See, you know, man, that I lost that Running through the crowd but no eyes for my contact You see right there, ah, uh, man, I'm undone Just luck on for someone I'm someone done Someone see me, please see me for the first time Someone see me Please see me For the first time Oh please 
someone see me? Please see me for the first time. Please see me. Someone see me. Please see me for the first time. Please someone see me. Single man likes long walks on the beach, looking for woman who also enjoys horse riding. That's not me. Um, Still looking through the confidentials, Larice. John, yeah, I am. Look, all I want is to find somebody to share my life with, and I'm running out of options. And these these ads in the paper, are, you know, they're offering up a lot of stuff, but nothing's quite right. You're always spending all your Morning tea time, looking through the confidentials. You're right, I should get back to work. You should. These stamps aren't going to adhere themselves to the stamp backing paper. You're right. Maybe, maybe one day a letter will come for me. Hmm. I mean, there isn't a lot of mail these days for uh, people without connections. You're right. Oh well. Back to it. That's what I find weirdest about you, Larice. You can generate saliva like nobody's business. You know, surely you have some, some other talents. I do. I've got a lot to offer somebody. But nobody's seen it yet. Well, uh, have you tried, uh, speed dating? That could be a bit of fun. I suppose, but what if nobody checks the box at the end of the night? Oh, rejection. I felt the same way when I was in my NBL grand final the other day. I uh, went up for a slam dunk and then, boom, in your face, the guy said to me. You lost the game. We lost the game, yeah. It was on the buzzer. So the fear of rejection is very real. Re very real. But yep. you know, I'm glad that I jumped for the basket. I'm glad I leaped and shot for the hoop. Maybe I gotta take a chance. Maybe I gotta leap. Maybe I gotta put myself out there on the street Maybe I gotta find someone by putting it out there Gotta look here, there and everywhere I gotta leap I gotta jump I gotta take the chance to find someone I gotta leap Yeah, I gotta jump I've gotta take the chance Stamping day after day And I think to myself There's gotta be a better way A way that I can show who I am inside A way that I no longer have to hide A way that I can be my one true self But not end up like some person on the shelf Yeah, I gotta leap I gotta jump I gotta take the chance To find someone Hey, Kingston. You're my only friend, and of course my horse. I've got to acknowledge that you're a horse. <laughs> That's correct, Kingston. <sighs> Jeff the horse. Really hurt me today, man. I sent that letter out into the world like, guess who loves walking on the beaches and horse riding? Of course, that was you. I wanted to let people know that I, my we're, best friend's a horse. It's sort want... of like a double act. What kind of a double act? Yeah. You know, you take one, but you get two. <laughs> you know, it's like... Yeah, bargain. Yeah, exactly. And no one responded. No, no, nobody responded again. Well, um, the snail mail's not what it used to be. If it was horse mail, on the other hand... I know, but that's not. It's not. Since... 
It would be degrading. It would be. It's just not a thing that we... I mean, I respect that you've always had that dream. Jeff, I acknowledge that. As a horse, you've always gone. Could I not work at the Postal Service? But my father would have been so ashamed of me. When I was a young horse, he said to me, Jeff, never carry a letter. Carry a man. Carry a woman. Carry kings and knights. But never carry a letter. Your father was so old school. Oh, Mr. Ed. (laughs) Mr. Ed. Where is he now? Doing incredibly well. Repeats. Um, and I'm you. thinking about thinking about lying. About lying? Lying, man. Every time I put out a letter to the world, this is who I am. I'm a guy who loves two things and two things only: beaches and horses. You, buddy, not horses. You. Well, it's not you. plural. That's very kind. Singular. <laughs> Jeff the horse. But I mean, maybe you need to be a bit more about you. I don't know. Who am I? I'm just a person who runs a tiny stable with one horse. <laughs> not <laughs> people, at all. People say it's, it's fiscally, it's literally, it's, it's not even, it's, I mean, what do we even do? We offer occasional horse rides, barely any. And most of the time you're riding me, so it's, it's like mostly. a double fare again, a two really for one is. deal. It's a tough lifestyle. I... Jeff, I'm thinking I'm going to write a better letter. Yeah? Yeah. Speak from the heart. Speak from the heart, but also speak from the lies. Tell people that I'm something better than I ever could be. Yes. Let them see the man I want to be and not the man I am, because the man I am, Jeff, is not Not good good enough. enough. You could be a superhero. Could I, Jeff? You could if you wrote it down in a lie form. This is why I love you, buddy. Some days I'm feeling so stressed. Bestest friend, who's the best? Big Jeff, Jeff, yes. Man, of course you know that when we travel, it's just me and Big Jeff. I sit upon the handle, then we vibe in, then we ride in. You know that when we walk in, I'm always like walking like beside him. And I think, could I ever leave this? Believe this? The man and the horse just walking where the beach is. And I think you're right there, man. I'm slick with this. Sometimes I hit my pan, let my big swift kick with this. I'm wondering exactly, could I reach this? And Egypt, stranded where the beach. This is like my remit, I cannot deny I write who I am, but you see that Fam, I'm just a guy, I should disappear from the truth Or let me lie with the lies So one day, man, I might lie with someone by my side Who's not Jeffrey, someone next to me And Jeffy, please, you know that you are ecstasy But right there, incessantly, I think that my heart Man, it better be, I wish that there was more than just you and me Like collectively You gotta lie for the lie If you wanna lie, you gotta lie If you want to lie, you gotta lie I'm gonna lie Give me the pen, Jeff Hand me that with your hoof and your teeth, yeah That's right, man Okay, truth, no more My name is, uh, Kingston I'm six foot four, yeah That's right, and I know how to knit and sew And also, if you're here for Christmas I'll make you mittens, oh You see, some chitter-chatter This is a disaster I'm a man who owns a horse No, I'm a man who's an actor Yeah, that's it what are you saying? Like, Jeff, maybe I could reinvent myself as a modern-day Bruce you Wayne? You gotta to lie If you wanna lie Man, John Wayne You gotta lie So many fibs It's ridiculous, the ink and drive a fib and live You gotta lie to lie If you wanna lie You gotta lie One more time You gotta lie to lie If you wanna lie the truth set you free If the truth is the exact opposite of what it seems You gotta lie to lie If you wanna lie You gotta lie I just wanna be with somebody every night So I guess I gotta spin Where's my web? And you gotta lie to 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 lie La, 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 you gotta lie to lie If you wanna lie, you gotta lie I'm glad you agree, Jeff 
Someone's looking a bit starstruck. It's me. I'm still absolutely thrilled that we got to record a podcast with the incredible Abando Man. I know, Holly. It's so exciting. And we actually also have some extra content available. We do. Top secret stuff. We recorded a few extra songs and maybe even an extra episode. And that's available to our Patreon. So if you'd like to check some of that stuff out, as well as our monthly bonus episodes, get onto patreon.com. The link is in the details. You can become a Patreon from as little as $2 a month. Holly, what happened to your legs? I'm a mermaid now, Emmett. You've been on the Off With The Fairies podcast. I have. Ah. <gasps> Hang on, what are those in your mouth? I've been on the Off With The Fairies podcast too. These are my Dracula fangs. <laughs> if you guys like Impro and you like the team from Impromptunes, you'll love Morgan and Isabella's podcast, Off With The Fairies. Each week they interview a fictional character. Check it out. Oh, nearly at the end of the ads again. Oh, Larice, it's nearly time to clock off. I hope you're not overstaying your shift. You know, we won't pay you overtime just for reading the paper. I know, John. I finished all my stamping for today. And you did a thousand stamps today. That's a thousand happy people getting messages from their loved ones, their parents, their family, their partners, maybe something a little racy. Maybe. Hey, oh my gosh, what's this? Oh, I got a new hat. Thanks for noticing. Looks lovely. Yeah, you see, I made it out of uh, daisies. It's gorgeous. I can't believe you didn't notice it. I've been wearing it all day, Larice. And, hey, hey, what's, what's that? Oh, that's my new wallet. It's made out of the earth that was left over from the daisies that I picked. To be honest, my pocket's just full of dirt, but I fish out the coins as needed, and then in the other hand, pocket, I mean, I just pick out the cards. In fact, I don't use the coins all that much. So- Thank you for noticing. You're so welcome, John. We've hey. been colleagues for ten years, yes? What's that? Look what I've just spotted. It's a new ad. Well, I've got a clock off. Six foot four? Man seeks woman. Who likes knitting? And is an actor. Oh, wow. This guy sounds so exciting. Oh, my gosh. If interested, meet at the beach, 6 p.m. Jeff, this is stupid. No one's gonna come. I mean, I wrote the ad literally, what, four hours ago and put it at 6 p.m.? I mean, this is literally insanity. I mean, for God's sakes, I know how print media works. It takes four to six weeks to activate any kind of message. Well, the the postal service here in Melbourne is unparalleled. You always say that. That's only because you want to work in the post, (laughs) Jeff. You're overly complimentary. That's why I came here. It's just, you want to work for the best if you're going to work anywhere. Are you sure I should be your wingman here? I might make myself scarce. I don't know, bro. Maybe you could... into the... just behind the rocks, but... I understand. I'll... and you... I love how we communicate. We use sounds in a way few friends do. Good luck, my friend. Thank you. I'm sure that your lack of optimism is misfounded. Hello? Oh my god, this was unexpected. Uh, is it? Oh, is, uh, yeah. you did put an ad in the paper, no, right? No, I did, I did. I put an ad in, and then I shrank four inches. It's been a tough day. I oh. was 6'4 when I wrote the ad, but now I'm right. Six. I'm 5'11. <laughs> I'm 5'10. Why, why is this happening? Well, um, I really liked other aspects of your ad. Do you think you could knit me some mittens right now? Sure, uh, I could, but I have recently fractured both my thumbs. I was giving thumbs up to a local bus. I love buses. And it pushed by such a speed. And I was like, that's amazing. But it was so fast that the wind blew my thumbs right back on them. And now they're broken. Oh, Oh my goodness. Well, that's... I'm I'm so sorry. I I didn't even introduce myself. I I didn't... I'm so sorry. Here I am babbling about my thumbs. Um... (laughs) My name is Kingston. Uh, what's your name? My name's Larice. That's an amazing name. Oh my gosh. Thank so many you. vowels, so many consonants <laughs> just dancing together. Larice. I really, really liked your ad. I've been, I feel like I've been waiting for an ad like that my whole life. And I thought, yes, it only got posted four hours ago, but I'm just going to jump in and take a chance. Uh, thank, thank you for taking a chance. So few people do. What, what was it about the ad, Larice? Sorry, you've got something... Is that glue? There's 
a tiny bit oh. of glue on your... Oh, I'm so sorry. No, 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 I, I work in a stamping factory. Stamping? Wow, I've got a friend who loves the post office. That's incredible. Really? Yes, uh, his name is Jeff. He's a guy I play hockey with. He's a guy. You're doing great, buddy. Keep it up. That's, that's weird. The seagulls here are vocal. <laughs> uh, I'm just a guy by himself without a horse. That's important to say at the outset. And I'm a... I'm a woman here without a horse, so I guess... <laughs> Two people without a horse, um... What was it about the ad that particularly... It wasn't the ad... Was it, it was the act... Was, it was the actor thing? Oh, I thought that was super interesting, oh, yeah. good. Me too. It's fun. Pretending. Can he tell I'm nervous? Can he tell I'm kind of keen? Can he tell this is the first time that I've felt... Truly see. Can she tell everything that I'm not? I mean, I'm trying to lie, and my body's quite hot. I mean, I know that I'm just trying to be so open, but every word that I speak is a lie. I need deodorant. Sweating and I'm stressing and I'm just forgetting But to this potential See my body's genuflecting Man, it's Jeff that I'm forever just forgetting Because I can't believe that this is something No, the best thing Can he tell That my heart is beating fast Can he tell That I'm not sure I'm up to the task Can he tell that I'm feeling so alive And that together I'm getting the feeling That we could thrive Look at her So much confidence Kingston, be cool Try to offer a compliment You, you look good with glue You stupid fool What are you to say? Nobody looks good with glue What is this? My favorite glue is Pritt stick. What are you doing? Why are you talking about glue still? For God's sakes, miss this. Say something else. Um, this will be better. I like that you're somebody who still reads the newspaper's letters. And I love that you put an ad in there. Well, I've been doing it for a while. They've, they've not always been. This is the most successful it's ever been. I mean, me too. What? Yeah, I've never found a match before. Wow. Amazing, really. And can he tell that I think he is the one? And can she tell that I'm sweating? I feel that my heart is just done. It's done. And can he tell that we're a match made in heaven? And can she tell? That this is like a moment in my life that I will never be forgetting. Can he tell? Can he tell? Can, can she he see? Tell, can he tell? Everything I'm trying to just hide so deep, see? Can he tell? Can he tell? Heart beating, don't believe this. Well, somebody's a bit of a new person this week, my dear. Oh, Mum, I have met the man of my dreams. Oh, I know, I saw your Facebook post. I, I feel like someone's finally seen me. They've, oh, I've just never met anyone like him before. Famous actor, actor yeah. Kingston Bloomsbury. Yes. I mean, I don't watch a lot of films apart from Married at First Sight, which I guess is more of a TV show than a film, but I love the narrative. Well, yes, he's apparently done a lot of work and in acting and he's just so exciting and well, I... maybe you two could be married at first sight. He sounds oh. like the perfect man. Lock it in before you blow, you blow it. Oh, Mum. Come on. You could... You don't you have be a... be a bit more supportive. You don't exactly have a good track record. No, that's I right. I mean, I've, I could tell you about all your please. failed relationships right now. Oh, please, Mum. Do that. Every single boy you've met, you've blown it. Blown it in the relationship way You make so many mistakes that you should own it Marry this man, yes, marry this man today Remember when you were with Douglas? Yes Well, he left you pretty hugless Remember when you were with Daryl? Yes 
He wasn't the kind of guy you'd marry If you don't lock it in, you're gonna lose it Just like my Kia If you don't lock it in, you'll lose it Bye bye, see ya If you don't lock it in, you'll lose it Like my Kia If you don't lock it in, you'll lose it Bye bye, see ya Remember Thurston He left you so thirsting Thirsting for some nourishing love Remember Stephen, you said, oh, we'll get it even But now he's moved on, he's moved up and above If you don't lock it, you'll lose it Just like my Kia If you don't lock it in, you'll lose it Bye-bye, see ya Yeah, you know If you don't lock it in, you'll lose it Like my Kia If you don't lock it in, you'll lose it Bye-bye, see ya And you remember what happened with Graham? That's right, he kept on spaying him. That's right, he spayed his dogs and he spayed himself so he could avoid you. Do you remember what happened with Ned? That's right, he ended up dead. That's right, he wasn't even a boy to you. If you don't don't lock lock it in, you'll you'll lose lose him. Like my Kia. (laughs) If If you don't don't lock it in, you'll lose him. Bye bye, bye, see ya. If you don't lock it in, in, you'll lose him Like my Kia You lost my car If you don't lock it in, you'll lose him If you don't lock it in, you'll lose him Bye-bye, see ya What is a stable? What? It's, uh, uh, we're shooting a movie We are shooting a movie Great, oh wow, you must have so many horses Is it like a war movie where they like It is the end of a war movie All the horses are dead, bar one There's just one horse There's still, there's one horse that's alive The other horses, if you were here yesterday Oh my god Oh, I must have just, oh what a shame to miss them It was amazing, there was a thousand There were a thousand horses Did someone say amazing? This is, uh, this is Jeff Um, he's a horse Hello you uh, must be Larice. I've heard so much about you. Okay, Jeff, be cool. You've heard something about <laughs> He gushes about you like a watering can. <laughs> that is that is semi it's it, at times it's accurate, but then I also talk about I talk about other things. Well, it's 50-50 between you, me and Beaches. 50-50-50. Beaches and horses. Yeah. Uh, so the character in the oh. movie I'm playing. Oh, right. Is, uh, he's kind of a, Ooh. he's a guy who lives with a yeah, horse. with a horse. He just lives with yeah, a, it's just, just a man. In, just wait, a horse not in a weird way. Wait, 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 wait. Just a weird platonic horse for man friendship. It's just a friendship with a horse. Look. In the play, in the in movie. The movie uh, is no. called Two Hands, Two Four, Hands Hooves. Four Hooves. And Jeff is also an actor. I, Jeff played Seabiscuit. If you've seen the movie Sea Biscuit with Tobey Maguire, that was pretty much that was less Toby, more Jeff. And a lot of black and white paint. A lot of black and white paint. And then Jeff and Toby had a long relationship. Well, just friends. Friends. <laughs> Stunt double and Spider Man. Correct. Yes. And yeah. now Jeff is back to Do- Doctor Octopus. It was originally Doctor Horse, but uh, they cut me. You can see me in the deleted scenes on DVD. Um, Louise. Yes. What do you think of the character in that particular movie that we're describing? I think he's fantastic, great, amazing. A man with a only friend is a horse. You think that's... Well, yeah, I guess so. I mean, in the past, I might have thought that was a bit unusual, but anyway, I guess I'm... Tell her, tell her. Hey, are you going to show me your knitting collection? I really want to see those different kinds of mittens you described. I would love to, but unfortunately, the bus that crushed my thumbs, it came back and it ran through the whole left wing of the house and it took most of the mittens with them. Excuse, excuse me, Louise. Can I have a moment with Kingston? <laughs> yeah, sure. I'll just clip, go clip, over here. Clip, 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 clip. Jeff, am I being cool? I'm really trying to be cool. Buddy, she loves mittens. I have a note for you. It's on my back. I carried it all the way from the post office. Jeff, you went to the post office? Yes. Wait a minute. That's where Larice works. Jeff. It is. Have you been going behind my back? No, I've just... I tried to interview for the role and they told me to go away. But I stole some postal paper and carried it all the way. Let me... Let me see. I wrote this for you in my hoofs. Oh my gosh, Jeff. You've never written before. This is... 
It's like the movie Charlotte's Web, but so much better because the star is a horse. It's like Charlotte's horse. I wish I did have a, an acting career. All this fancy. But there's sometimes too much fancy. Read the note. It says... Be Thank true. You, Dear listener, this is for you, Kingston, now. You see, I think you're gorgeous, flawless, and me, I'm just a horse. Jeff, this is lovely. And right now, truth is that you're not useless. I wrote this with my hooves, yes. You see that I'm vibing, I'm trying. Before this, I couldn't do right then, but then I learned to write when. I was down in, I grabbed my pen It was a fountain, then I came across this Started to write, it was so boss, yes And then I wrote a application to work at the post office Then I went in, man And I see this person licking stamps Her name is Larissa You've written such a long letter And just the moment Thank Sorry, you. I'll go back to reading I'm very it. proud Then I see a person working there named Larissa She's chatting with all of her colleagues with so much ease And I sit there and I know I shouldn't be listening But there's one word I hear again It's Kingston And she's not talking about mittens She's not talking about a man who does some knitting She talks about a person who's connected Walking on the beach and for the first time she feels respected And I wrote everything that went inside my head By the way she's got an ex called Ned He's genuinely dead But I need you to say that you'll survive I feel that in her mind, you and her are so alive. This is such an, such incredible. Jeff, I feel like 50% of me is really excited that Reese likes me. Another whole 50% is like, your writing is so legible. I'm very proud to, to have achieved this, and I'm so grateful that you still think of me half of your time between the other half of the beach, but there's a new half of you, and it's all about Larisse. True, that's me. Yeah, man, tonight, man, dude, that's me. You know, right now, but it's you and me. She works at Glue, but you'll never be in a glue factory, no. see? See, I know that right now, it's where it begins. It's like we've lived together, you and me forever be twins, but... Okay, man, I now see that it's time for me to go. Talk, confession to Larisse, tell her who I really am, see? Tell her she's the only one that I ever fancied. Be true, be true. Find love for me and you Be true, be true Find love for me and you Kingston? Louise. What is this? You're not an actor? N uh, nope, nope. I just measured you. You really are only 5 foot 11. I'm 5 foot 10, I wear... I wear very large Nike Airs. And I can't find a single mitten in your house. Sorry for going through all your stuff while you were talking to your horse. Larisse. Who I've realised from your photographs is your only friend. Okay, Larisse. There are a lot of truthful accusations happening right now. A lot of truth is coming out. You're the first person I trusted. You're the first person that I leapt and, and felt that I could show my true self to. And the first person who actually respected me. I do be respect you. True, and now I feel like a joke. True. You're not a joke. I mean, I gotta tell you. For me and you. I gotta tell you. Look, Luis, I hope that you can see this. Before it was just me, horses, beaches, then. I thought, man, I'd write, just hit them then. One letter, quick, my friend. Say 6 p.m., someone will be there, but I thought that would be home alone like Kevin. Then you came in, my heart beating. You're a legend, my brain was like selecting. The lies to like tell when I saw with you, my lies went up. Yep, like seven. The Brad Pitt movie, right now, I see to my surprise that we all commit sin. My only sin is these lies, but right now, I want you to see that it's true, y'all. Know that everything from here on, is truthful I know that my surprise is that I might have lied I'm not an actor that is something I can't deny and I know the right there's something is missing I've only made hoof based mittens but if I could genuflect and say that I'm stressed I've only got one friend and his name is Jeff but if we could press reset I promise that I'll never be Ned never die I'll never die Find love for me and you. Love for me and you. I thought we had love for me and you. If you just gone and been true. Love for me and you. Uh.
Larice, I hate to bust in, but... It's fine. I'm leaving. Please, if I know one thing, and I know this, Kingston is a more reliable, more true friend than I could ever have. Most people wouldn't befriend a horse. They think it beneath them. But this man, he's something else. You don't have to say that. Jeff, it's... Larissa, I'm sorry. I, I was... I was feeling like there were no options left. Jeff's my only friend. We have known each other since both of us were tiny. We were in school together. It was weird. I don't even know who you are. Uh, let me tell you who I am. My name is Kingston. I'm a man who writes letters all the time. I'm just seeking connections. I'm a man whose best friend is a horse. Neither of us have ever acted. But I think we both have talents. That's neither here nor there. That's not the focus. What I'm saying is all I ever thought about 100% of the time was, was Kingston and friendship, but that was also to a Kingston. Since you came into my life, I've become fascinated. I've learned everything I could about glue. I, I, I didn't know that there's a whole industry of people that lick stamps. Honestly, for so long I thought they were self-adhesive, but I realized that's a... No, it's a, it's a common myth. It's a common myth. It's what the industry wants you to believe. Um, there are some bad things about the male industry. They're very secretive. <laughs> very exclusive. Larissa, I want to say this. I've learned everything I could. Um, you're in that industry, and... Truth be told, Jeff has always dreamt of that industry, and a tiny part of me thought maybe it was fate. Maybe you came into our life because, well, maybe you could be friends with Jeff as well. Maybe we had something. I, I know that I'm not who you thought I was. I mean, I've never starred in a movie. I've only ever had one fan letter. Fun fact, it was from your mother. She said she didn't know who I was, and she insisted I marry you. Mom! To be totally frank, that felt a little... We've known each other six days. Felt too soon. <laughs> um, what I'm trying to say is that Though I'm not who I said I was, I'm not who I was six days ago. I've changed. Because of you. Kingston. I've nobody has ever said anything as truthful to me in my whole life. And I'm really, I'm still hurt, but I haven't been the same in this last six days either. I've what? never felt like this before, and... Jeff's been so kind, and the fact that my mum wrote you a letter is a big deal, and I want to be true, be true to you. I want to be true, be true to you. I want to spend my life with you, and I want to be true, be true to you. Yes, exactly what we dreamed, man, is coming true I mean, right now, man, it's just my horse and just you I feel the right now, you know, I see that I thought I was okay as two But now I'm seeing we're three, well, basically we're two Plus Big Jeff Hey! <laughs> right now, I feel that when you're next to me This could be it, man, I right now know that I was like a Judas But I will show you what truth is I can tell you being true from your inflection And I feel that we've got a real connection I've got nothing that I want to let go, but there's something that I really need you to know. You're the one, and I knew it from the start. You're the first person that's ever opened up my heart. And if you'll say yes, let's start our life together. Because Kingston, I want to be with you forever. Okay. I'm saying this, I never said it casually. Will you marry me? I know that's crazy. I'm my brain is like, be safe, don't ask her that, I mean, for, you've only known her for six days, well, this is literally crazy, and I feel that we've gone the wrong way, but would you be a fiancé, can I show a ring like it's Beyonce, I mean, I promise, man, I know I can't deny, in the past I'd lied, 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 yeah, it may be crazy, but you're the best, and the only answer to your question, it's gotta be yes, that's all I've got to say to you now, let's cash it out. Man, it's so good to see you both no longer having a fight I can tell that everything is gonna be alright When you two were lying, it was such an ugly battle Get on my back, get in the saddle Be true, be true to you Be true, be true to you I wanna be, be true, be true to you I'm gonna be
Epilogue. Epilogue. Uh, ep- epilogue. Six weeks later, man, you see me. Big Kingston popping down on the knees, man. Walk the aisle and it's nothing but smiles. And I can't lie, I haven't lied in a while. Man, this is so good, of course. I'm the man of honor and I'm still a horse. Man, these two were fighting, they were such bitter rivals. But my enthusiasm is so unbridled. Walking down the aisle, I feel alive inside. It feels so good to be Kingston's bride. He's the only one always for me. I'm just so glad that he could see. I watch it there, man, I feel so at ease. I see the rise of the bride that I see, man's the reason. I say, right there, the reason I'm with you. I want to work in the place that you work with, with glue. And you see that we could work together, yet but we'll be flawless. We lick the stamps, but yes, man, a horse is about to come with me. And now we got a horse by our side doing deliveries. You're not Mr. Ed, you're on your own. You about to go deliver to every single zone around Australia. Man, fam, we vibe. We lick in one person. By my side, just rides, rides, rides. Ride with me. Post office for horse. the rest of my life. Uh, 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 uh. Ride with me. Post office horse. For the rest of my life. Three weeks later, couldn't believe this. Man, we are standing on the beach, man. I see this deep star. Look over there, the Reese. Look, man, it's Jeff, and he's standing beside another horse. Oh, Oh my God, man, I get that feeling that together, man, you know they'll travel. Now it's two horses, no saddles, man. Look at them, a horse by their side as they go into the moonlight. Ride, babe, ride. Hey baby, I want you to be mine Woo-hoo. I tell you what, you're a horse and you're so fine Woo-hoo. I think that you and, you're my perfect female I told you about it when I wrote you a piece of mail That's right, you and I are never gonna battle I'm gonna get you in the saddle <laughs> That's right, <laughs> we're filling our cups You and I, baby, it's time to saddle up Ride with me Ride with For me For the rest of my, my life, life. Baby, uh. baby Month later, what do you see? We got a new baby. Now the couple that was originally two, they've got three. And what you gonna do? Oh, what's that? You'll never believe it, it'll make you laugh. But I tell you what, I didn't have a baby cuff. No, 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 no. Me and my wife had a baby fall. Ride with me for the rest of my life. Me and my baby. My baby and my wife, ride with me, yeah. Ride with me, with me for the rest of my life. Rest of my life, for the rest of my life. Ride with me for the rest of my life. Ladies and gentlemen, that was, for the very first time, Spotted, a love story. It is so nice when our animal-human love stories (laughs) don't involve animal-human love. (laughs) What a nice treat. Thank you, Rob Abando Man. An absolute pleasure. Thank you you for having me, Legends. It was so much fun, Holly. Any thoughts? Uh, It was a treat to fall in love with you, Rob. I'm sure all our (laughs) listeners did as well. Yes, Holly, excellent acting. (laughs) (laughs) Well, ladies and gentlemen, you can subscribe to Impromptunes on the Podcast channels. You can also become a Patreon like Drum Lagen, PTYLTD, and get free sweet bonus content. And make sure you follow Abando Man on all of his channels as well. And make sure you see Impromptunes live, (laughs) regularly, all over the world. Thank you, David Peake. Ride with me. David's on the ride or die. The rest of my life. Yo, David, bring the jam, yo. The rest of my life. Watch the way he plays piano. Vibe with me. Go on, ride with me. me. Ebony and Ivory. The rest of my life. Kick it with the jam, yo. The rest of my life. Big deal.